You know the greatest center of all time? No, I'm not talking about Shaq or even Hakeem Olajuwon. This center is known for his signature sky hook and arguably popularizing the sport of basketball. He earned Rookie of the Year, six NBA championships, six MVPs, two final MVPs, is a 19-time All-Star and a two-time scoring champion. No player achieved as much individual and team success as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. However, what truly set him apart was his choice of eyewear during his time on the basketball court. The use of goggles wasn't about improving Kareem's vision. Rather, it had a different purpose. Kareem had constant eye injuries in 1975 from repeated scratches and eye pokes. Defenders often found themselves inadvertently reaching for his eyes as they tried to guard him. There is speculation though that players might have intentionally targeted his eyes because they couldn't guard him any other way. Nonetheless, these goggles elevated his global fame and helped turn him into an icon. His association with the goggles became so strong that during his final Lakers game, his teammates paid tribute by wearing goggles onto the court. Do you think Kareem is the greatest center of all time? Is it Shaq, Wilt, Bill Russell? Let me know who you think is and why. I personally love Kareem, but his teammate Kurt Rambis had a different reason to wear goggles. Kurt had poor vision so he needed to use the thick black rim glasses during games. Fans gave him the nickname Superman due to his resemblance to Clark Kent. He might not have appeared as a typical 80s NBA star at first glance as sporting Buddy Holly style glasses and a mustache didn't really fit the conventional mold. However, Rambus played a crucial role during the Showtime Lakers era characterized by his strong work ethic which complemented the team's scoring proficiency with his dedication to rebounding and defensive play. Although he may not have received notable accolades such as All-Star recognition, his impact was more deeply rooted in the respect he garnered from fans, fellow players, and coaches alike. While with that insane Lakers team that included Magic and Kareem, Rambis clinched four NBA championships. His goggles may have showed him as ordinary, but on the court, he helped glue that Lakers defense together. Fast forward to the 1990s, Chicago Bulls legend Horace Grant also faced vision issues and opted to wear goggles while playing. Despite players trying to knock off his goggles, Grant tried playing without them, though he found out he actually played worse. Even after undergoing LASIK surgery for his eyesight, Grant continued to wear goggles as he inspired kids to embrace protective eyewear in sports. Because of his distinctive eyewear, Horace Grant became a household name. It also helped that he played with Michael Jordan. While initially necessary for better vision, the goggles eventually became his trademark. On a Reddit thread, Grant shared that his choice had led to numerous parents and grandparents expressing gratitude for motivating their kids to wear glasses during play. Do you wear goggles or glasses while playing? Let me know why or why not. But this next legendary big man actually did better when he wasn't wearing goggles. Hakeem Olajuwon had a career of two NBA championships, two finals MVP awards, two defensive player of the year honors, and an MVP title, which by the way, he is the first foreign born player to win the award. Dubbed the dream, Olajuwon was incredible on the court. He showcased his signature move called the dream shake, where he would finesse in the post using various shoulder fakes, executing spins to outmaneuver defenders, and it usually ended with a fadeaway jump shot. Olajuwon experimented with wearing goggles, however, this eyewear was actually short-lived, as he ultimately found them uncomfortable, and he would come to realize that he performed better without the goggles. This might explain why, apart from a few instances in the 1991-92 season, he refrained from using them further. Like Hakeem, these goggles aren't for everyone, especially for the player that passed Kareem in all-time points, the glorious king, LeBron James. During a game against the Charlotte Hornets, LeBron James encountered an eye injury, specifically a scratch on his right cornea. The next game, LeBron decided to wear goggles to protect against any further injury. After rocking protective goggles for the first eight minutes and 30 seconds of the Cleveland Cavaliers matchup against the Wizards, LeBron James tossed them away on the court. He wore the goggles for just nine minutes. The King was 2 of 5 for 5 points in the first quarter with his goggles and had a ball ripped away by John Wall. I guess LeBron only likes wearing them just for a little bit. But one of the best pick and roll players in NBA history actually had to wear goggles because of a traumatic event at practice. Anthony, nice pass. Stoudemire gets his first bucket. Over Richardson. Up ahead. Look out. Hello! During the 2008-2009 season's training camp, Amari Stoudemire was on a fast break alongside Boris Diaw, both in the same lane. As Diaw collided with Stoudemire at full speed, his finger inadvertently entered Stoudemire's eye, resulting in a tear to his iris. Stoudemire found himself lying on the court in pain and seeing nothing but darkness. He initially believed he had lost his vision. Despite the medical team giving eye drops, there was no immediate improvement. After a while, Stoudemire's vision did gradually return, but it took 
took around a month of recovery before he was able to make a full return to playing on the court. This incident left a lasting impact on Amari. From then on, he made the decision to wear protective goggles during basketball games. Amari Sotomayor ended his NBA career with six All-Star selections, five All-NBA team selections, an All-Rookie team, and a Rookie of the Year award. Where do you rank Amari Sotomayor among all-time power forwards? Other notable mentions who have worn goggles that we shouldn't forget, Anthony Davis, James Worthy, Dwayne Wade, Kirk Heinrich, who remembers Kirk Heinrich, and Bo Outlaw. Goggles have somewhat fallen out of popularity recently, but who knows if it can make a comeback? Who do you think is the greatest ever to play and wear goggles? Let me know in the comments. I would love if you could leave a like on this video. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.